when I get that hem. So I just revealed the long dress is the dress. So yes, the long dress is the dress I'm going to wear to the wedding. Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Melissa and today I'm going to be sharing with you my final pick on uh, the two dresses that I bought for the uh, upcoming wedding of my son and also I thought I would share some of the accessories that I picked up to wear with the dress of choice. So I thought I would go ahead and start off by just sharing a little bit about each one of these dresses and then tell you which one I'm going to be wearing. So I did a vlog style video a few weeks ago where I took you shopping with me uh, and we tried some dresses on in the dressing room for Mother of the Bride dresses and I will include a link to that video in case you're interested in seeing that. If you didn't haven't had a chance to, to look at that, you can see all the dresses that I tried on that day. And I narrowed it down to these two because I really couldn't decide which one I liked better. So I thought I would share with you a little bit about each dress. I bought them at Nordstrom's. They're both Adriana Pepel dresses. That's the manufacturer of the dress. The first one is this little short gunmetal dress and it is entirely covered in sequins and bugle beads. It has a nice um, kind of like a little bit of a scooped v-neck and short sleeves and it comes to right about above my knee it's super comfortable it's gorgeous and I you know really feel very fancy <laughs> in that dress so the second dress is this full-length black lace dress with a nude lining to it it is sleeveless it has a jewel neckline but it's not too high it's really a beautiful uh, placement on that uh, jewel neckline. It's not too high and it's not too low so it's it's really quite lovely and it has a little black uh, grow, grain, grow grain ribbon belt that you can tie in the front which I think adds just a really nice amount of polish to it. It does go to the floor and the bottom is slightly tapered off in the back so I think it is supposed to trail a little bit behind you. Um, not so much like a train, but just to kind of trail, you know, kind of brush along behind you. So I did decide that I'm going to wear the long dress to the wedding, and I will definitely need to get it hemmed because it's quite long, and I'm going to try and preserve that um, trailing feeling of the lace. I think it, it feels very special when you do that. So I thought I would share with you some of the accessories I'm going to wear with this dress. Because it is um, very elegant and a little bit understated, read no sparkle to it, I wanted to really play it up with some pretty dramatic jewelry. So <clears throat> I'm going to start off with uh, the earrings that I chose because this is kind of the order in which I purchased things. So I started off, I really wanted a statement earring, something rather large or long with a lot of sparkle to it. And I picked up these earrings from Nidori. And I got these at, I think I've got these at Macy's. I think they are just the right amount of sparkle and length. So I did want them to show in my hair, which is, I think these achieve that. I think, you know, I'm going to have the hair curled up a little bit. And I really think these are stunning. So next up, I picked up a cocktail ring. And I ended up going on to QVC to purchase this. They have some really beautiful um, Diamondique jewelry on QVC. And I thought this was really beautiful. And really um, complemented the earrings well. So I chose 
a gold medal for all of the jewelry I'm going to be wearing that day because I felt it really complemented the nude underlay of this dress. And uh, the last two pieces I picked up are um, bracelets. And I can't, I'm not certain I'm going to wear both of them or if I'm going to wear one and not the other, but I have both and I will probably decide that when I do, you know, a test dress, if you will. So, these, both these bracelets I picked up off of Lane Bryant, and they are both still available. Uh, the first one is this set of bangles that have these faux jewels in them. So, you know, there are options here. I can wear all of them. I can take out the plain ones and just wear the jeweled ones, or I can wear them together. So, undecided as to how I'm going to do that, I will probably enlist the help of my beautiful daughter to help me edit that down a little bit. But I thought these were uh, really pretty, and I actually like a little bit of a jingle jangle. So here they are all together. And the other bracelet I picked up is really a statement bracelet. It really is. And it is a, a stretchy kind of bracelet. It is jewel encrusted with a lot of gold accents. But I thought this would look really great in pictures. So like I said, do I wear both? I don't know. I will probably make a decision once I try the dress on. If you're a plus size gal, there are issues with bracelets because unless you have very thin little wrists, a lot of bracelets that you go to the store to find will not fit you. And so, uh, which is why I ended up going to Lane Bryant. So this might end up being looking a little too heavy. I don't know. I will decide later. So the last two things I want to show you are uh, shoes and purse. And I'm going to start off with shoes. I've been around and around on shoes. I had a pair that I really loved and the crisscross straps were too tight. I could not get them buckled around my wide feet. They were perfect. They were really what I wanted to wear with that dress and they had a nice heel height, but I had to send them back. And so I did end up getting a similar style shoe without the crisscross. It has a little pointed toe, which I really wanted that. I think that looks very elegant. Poking out the front of a long dress to have that, that pointed uh, toe. I liked that it was kind of open over here the heel is probably about a half inch too high for me, <laughs> so I'm still I'm still casually looking, but I think this is what I'm going to end up with. And they are like a faux suede. These are a man-made material up top, and they are like a suede look. But I think that that really complements the look on the dress. So I think I just need to suck it up and start breaking these babies in. And the last item that I wanted to share with you is the handbag I'm going to carry. And this is really quite special. So uh, this handbag is a vintage handbag that belonged to my grandmother. And I thought it would really look beautiful with that dress. It has a beautiful black um, satin body to it and this... I'm sure it's plastic, but it's supposed to look like tortoise frame to it, but I'm, seriously, it's plastic. And, um, this is probably from, I want to say the 30s or 40s, I, I think. Uh, I don't know exactly, uh, but it's something that I acquired from my grandmother's collection. And I love the size of it. I love the simplicity of it. And 
and I love the fact that I can bring my grandmother along. I did not expect to get so emotional about that. So that wraps up my uh, accessories for the dress for the big day. Many of you seem very interested in uh, hearing more about the wedding prep and seeing pictures from the wedding. Someone even asked if I'd vlog during the wedding. I don't think I'll be vlogging during the wedding because I want to be present at the wedding and it is somewhat personal. It's very doubtful I'll do any kind of vlogging or if I do it'll just be a very quick little snippet. Uh, I thought what I would do is bring you along for maybe some hairdo testing. Uh, I am going to um, work with my hairdresser. We've been letting my hair grow a little bit so that I can have something to curl up in a little bit of a curled up do. And um, so I'm sure we'll be testing that very soon. And also I have some makeup testing to do. I'm really thinking I want to do um, somewhat of a smoky eye with a little bit of a dark purple accent. I don't know why, but that's what say that's what it's saying to me. So I do sorry, still weeping. Uh, I do have a few pictures that I've clipped that I'm going to be testing and using them for inspiration. And uh, if you are interested in seeing those, I will probably post those as well. I might actually even ask for some feedback as we go along because I like your feedback. I did ask for feedback on these dresses and I have to say it was pretty split. And I was pretty split about it, which one I really wanted to wear. But I ended up making the decision for the long dress. But I am keeping this dress. So... I don't know where I'm going to wear it, but I am keeping it. So thank you so much for joining me today. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. I will include a playlist with other related videos to wedding preparations uh, that you can view at your leisure. And I will see you real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.